Welcome to Fishy Bomba. I'm your host, Claire Karatu. Now, this is how the show works. You tell us what you want to learn how to make, and you come on the set. This is a pneumatic set. And simply, I show you how to prepare that meal. That's right. You come on set and we show you how to prepare that meal. Have you tried over and over again and simply can't get it right? Now we've been having amazing guests joining us on set, telling us how they want to make a specific meal. I'm particularly excited about today's guest because she has a little challenge for me, which is a challenge that a lot of us face at home. Now joining us on set is a lovely lady who I will be introducing in just a bit. This this is Pishi Bomba. All right, now, like I mentioned, I am excited because Rach is joining us on set. Welcome, Rach! <laughs> I love the energy. Oh, Thank welcome you. so much. Welcome, Thank welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank now, you. Rachel, you've been cooking for quite some time, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to have you on this Thank show. You. And today you decided to challenge me. Yes. Please tell our viewers a challenge for today and what you'd want to learn how to make. So guys, I realized that most of our fans, they actually don't know you can bake without an oven. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so we decided, rather I decided to <laughs> challenge you. <laughs> to challenge me? Yes. Oh my gosh, so basically, <laughs> how to bake without an oven. Yes. Now we have two regular sufurias because sometimes we also don't even have um, our baking trays, mm -hmm. you know? And I just wanted to show you that even with this regular sufuria, yeah. we can make it work. All right, Rachel, thank you so much for challenging me. You're but welcome. you know, how we do it in here on uh, Pishi Bomba mm -hmm. is I show you mm -hmm. and you have to follow my lead, okay? Okay. okay? So I'll take the smaller one. You can go ahead and grab the big one. Okay. Now what we will be making today, because we are baking with an oven is we're going to make a simple vanilla sponge cake okay so what we have here is we've got some strawberries mm -hmm. this is going to be for the filling mm -hmm. we've got our vanilla essence mm -hmm. we have baking powder mm -hmm. a little bit of salt mm -hmm. Now, this is self-raising flour, mm -hmm. which I like because then it becomes more fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then we've got butter, eggs, some sugar, some fresh whipped cream, mm -hmm. and of course, our milk. Okay. All, right? All right? Now, that's the basics. Okay. Now, I'm gonna ask you to grab your spatula. Oh, wash your Spastral. hands. Okay, first wash your hands. And then what we'll do is, in fact, now that she's even mentioned that, we don't want to get her pretty dress messy, so we're gonna put her in an apron as well, just to make sure that we're nice and clean. Now, as she washes her hand, if you'd like to be on the show, all you have to do is message us on all our social media platforms, that's Pishy Bomba, that's on um, Instagram, and all our social media platforms, or NTV Kenya. You can also message me at Claire underscore Karatu, and we'll definitely have you on the show prepared the meal you want to learn how to make all right are you okay yeah but most of these things don't fit no see no, I'm there you go down to earth. i'm short ah. so I look like a no <laughs> this one will definitely oh, yeah. fit you there you go all right now first things first we have our flour okay. now i'm not going to ask you to sip that just yet i'm also gonna grab mine and we want to take a dollop of of butter mm -hmm. which we're going to throw into our because we're okay. going to need to grease it first okay. and i don't want us to finish so go ahead and drop yours in okay. there just oh, a nice so dollop. we are literally you, we are doing the same thing the same ah, exact okay, thing okay. there's nothing different that we're doing i teach okay. a small little dollop because it's just for the greasing there you that go way? that way and then just drop that in there fantastic okay. Okay. now this is going to be for greasing our tins okay mm -hmm. and then we're going to take our butter now more of it mm -hmm. go ahead and just take that into your bowl okay and this is the creaming that Ooh. needs to happen don't show just go ahead and even take it if you want and then just is pour that, it in that's, there that's, that's not keep adding keep adding okay. just a bit more just a bit more mm -hmm. that is good now we're just going to try and finish this up actually okay because okay. it's pretty much all the butter that we're going to use and i'm just going to clean that up and put that there okay now that's about a quarter cup of butter that's gone into our bowls mm -hmm. i'm going to go ahead and take a third cup of sugar 
Now, how sweet do you want your cake? Not too sweet? Not too sweet. Not too sweet, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I'll add the third. Okay. <laughs> That's not too sweet. No, that's not too okay, sweet. Fine. Yeah, that's that's okay. okay. So about about one and three quarters, okay? Okay, okay? And then just dunk that in there. Now we do have the option of either mm -hmm. uh, creaming it with our hands, but like we said, today is the episode where what if I don't have yeah. it? Yes. What if I don't have a hand mixer? Yes. What if I don't have a mixer? So what yes. we'll do is we'll just grab our whisk. Would you like the professional one or the home one? Any kind of. Okay, here you can have the professional okay. one. It's going to whisk a lot faster for you. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to cream your butter and sugar can together. I this yes, please, okay. absolutely. Now this process is basically incorporating air into the butter. Okay. So then it's going to turn into a nice pale color. Okay. So you want to go at it for a bit. So, Rachel, thank you for letting me use your spatula. You're welcome. <laughs> it does a much faster job. Okay. And this is the consistency you're looking for. The color has changed, which is just perfect. Okay. All right, now we need to separate the egg whites mm -hmm. from the egg yolks. Okay. Like I said, you want to make sure that none of the egg yolk gets into the egg white because it's very fatty. Mm -hmm. So if that gets in there, then it won't peak. And by peaking, I mean, we're going to whisk this, I mean this, mm -hmm. sorry. We're okay. gonna whisk this okay. until it's nice and white and fluffy. Okay. Now the secret to making sure that rises completely is just a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Pinch of salt, and mm -hmm. then this one, we're gonna use a mixer. Please, okay. madam. Okay. <laughs> but they can still use a whisk, They right? can still use a whisk. It will work just perfectly fine. Okay. Now, hand mixer, whisk, all of it just works perfectly, mm -hmm. but you want to just make sure that when you turn this bowl upside down, mm -hmm. nothing pours. Oh. That's okay. how you know that you've okay. got the perfect. Really? Tea. Exactly. Okay. Sorry. That's interesting. All right, so this is exactly what you're looking for. These I love. very stiff peaks. I'm yeah. going to try and flip this upside down. Hopefully it doesn't pour. See? <laughs> oh, it doesn't okay. pour. Like you should be able to do okay. that. Now we have our butter. Back to basics. Okay. Butter. And now we're going to add, maybe because there were three eggs, just mm -hmm. three egg yolks. Okay? There's one. That's two. I'm going to let you have this one because okay. just add the three egg yolks in there. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to give that another whisk. Okay. So just keep whisking. Now what we want to do is begin to incorporate mm -hmm. the flour, okay. all right? So okay. I'll start with a third of a cup. Mm -hmm. Again, because you want it nice and airy, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you sift your okay. flour, okay? okay? So okay. I'm just gonna place my flour right there. There you go, you may have a sift. Um, then we just want to pour a third. I'm gonna put another cup of that. Mm -hmm. And then just lightly begin okay. to incorporate that. Okay. Now this, this process, again, a lot of people tend to skip over, they're just like, Sike ki bado ita, ita yeah, yeah. But if you want that perfect cook, I mean airy, I mean light, fluffy cake, mm -hmm. then you want to make sure that you just sift your flour okay. because you don't want those lumps um, incorporated in there. And then okay. also, we want to make it easier to bake because we're not using an oven yeah. like you asked. Yeah. All right, now we've been in the kitchen with Rach and Yay. she asked that we make cake without an, an oven. oven. And so we are going to use this lovely cooker, tabletop cooker that we have here. Mm -hmm. Now begin to incorporate your cake, okay. I mean your flour. You put two in there, didn't you? Yeah. Two. Right? Yeah. It begin to incorporate it. Now, if you see that it's drying out, mm -hmm. you want to begin to add your milk. Okay, okay. Right? So Mine I'm just going to add, dry. yeah, I'll right. just add your milk for you okay. and then just give that a mix. Now, you don't want to over mix your dough. Okay. Because then that's how you get a very crumbly cake. Okay. So the essence is just to make sure that we incorporate uh, the milk and the flour into our mixture. 
it's okay just it's it's it's, it's if it's gonna come together okay. now if you want to add just a little bit milk we can mm -hmm. go ahead and do that okay and then you see the beauty about having these lovely spatulas is you can scrape out so go ahead and do that you want to scrape out the sides mm -hmm. so that you can mix everything very evenly okay how are you feeling about this rage so far oh, so good interesting i know right <laughs> all right now i'm gonna I'm go ahead and it. add another third uh, cup of flour right in there okay sifting it through just to make sure that it is the perfect consistency okay straight into that i want to add my flour again oh. Mine yeah. is misbehaving. Is it okay? It's okay. I can help you just mix that. You want to just gently. So this one oh, is not, you okay. don't have to beat it. You can just okay. gently fold it. Yeah, it's not misbehaving. It's good. Okay. So now you want to add the flour. Look okay. at that. Oh, yeah, that's okay. a perfect one. So this is what you're looking for, yeah? Yeah, that's what you're looking for. It's okay. absolutely perfect. So I uh, another third? Yes, please. Add another third, a cup. And then you want to do this um, just two, three times. Uh, I'll give, we'll give the measurements of everything. It's because we were sharing the butter, therefore we needed to make sure that we have enough of everything going okay, around. Okay. Now at this point, I love that. Give that a mix. Okay. Now scrape the sides. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get everything out. Let me get you a your, your whisk for you there so you can have some space. And then you want to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay. Should I go ahead and yeah, add for yeah, you? Yeah, sure. A teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay. And then continue to mix that and incorporate that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my last, last, last step, which is a little bit of flour again. Okay. <laughs> And then at this point mm -hmm. is when you want to add, because remember we had put the pinch of salt in the egg already, yeah. so it already has your pinch of salt, yeah. but you want to add your teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Okay. Okay? Okay. Go ahead. There you go. And then add your flour as well. And I'll just gently begin a bit, to yes? sift that. Just a, te a teaspoon is enough. <laughs> yes. That's perfect. Okay. There okay. you go. A little flour. A little flour. Should I add some more milk? Yes, please add a little bit of more milk. It's according to you and making sure that the consistency is just right. So you don't want it too runny mm -hmm. or too thick. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you maybe just, I should wait. Yeah, just wait. Just make sure you incorporate everything in there first and it looks about perfect i love it all right now i'm gonna go ahead and take half of the egg whites which mm -hmm. we have here okay and just add that actually just a scoop and then begin to fold that in there you want to fold as you mix you want to fold as you mix now we're gonna make sure that this egg is well incorporated into our dough and then we're going to get to baking it but we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back Welcome back to Pishi Bomba. Now we have been in the kitchen with Rach. Yes. Rach, so far, the process, so you good. got it. Yeah. Yeah? So far, so good. So far, so good. Yes. All right, now Rach has challenged us to bake a cake without an oven, and mm -hmm. that's exactly what we're going to do here yes. on Pishi Bomba. Again, if you'd like to be on the show, all you have to do is inbox us on all our social media pages. That's NTV Kenya or Pishi Bomba or Claire underscore Karatu. Now, Rachel, thank you so much for this, because honestly, mm -hmm. it, a lot of people would like to know how to bake without yeah, an oven. Sure. Ata stima zikipotea. Yeah, Bado neza bake. Hey. Hey. Kidogo, kidogo, if you bake, najiko. Najiko, kidogo, yeah. kidogo. To, we'd have just placed it over here all right now yeah. we have our mixture we have incorporated the egg white yeah. it's fluffy it's mm -hmm. creamy it's wonderful yeah. so we're just gonna set that aside for okay. a bit okay. and do you remember these little pots that we had over here yeah. now i want you to grease your okay. baking tin okay. now we're using basic sufurias mm -hmm. because we're trying to show that you can use 
any sufuria. Exactly. To crust. bake. Yeah, exactly. All right. So we're just going to grease our baking sufuria because it ain't no baking tin at this point. Yeah. We're going to grease our baking sufuria and you just want to make sure you get the corners, the bottom. And this is butter that we had put at the beginning. Yeah. Um, just to sort of sit in there. Mm -hmm. And what this helps with is it makes sure that the cake doesn't stick onto the baking, the baking dish, yeah. right? True. So then we've creamed it. I mean, we've just greased it right about there. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. How is it looking? It's very greasy, oh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yay. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and add our flour. Okay. Now you just grab your flour that mm -hmm. you use to put into your mixture. There you okay. go. Like and what you want to do, yeah, no, well, most of it, yeah, that's yeah, okay. okay. And what you want to do is begin to make sure that it gets all through the surface. All exactly. Around. All around, just to make sure you get everything perfectly coated. All right, now I'm going to place this right here. That's the excess flour that mm -hmm. we have, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you okay? Yeah. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. All right, now we've got everything perfectly coated. Now we have our water. Now this is where the magic happens. We've got a very deep sufuria. Tumetia ndani maji. Watu huwa wanaeka mawe. And then you know the heat from the water just soaks in the uh, onto the rocks. Mm -hmm. And then you take those rocks and put them right on, on top, top of your, you cover it and put it on top so that the heat comes from the top yeah. and from the water yes. as well. Uh -huh. But this is a fun name. What we'll do is we'll uh -huh. just try and steam this cake and hopefully okay. oh. it cooks. So right. you can use water, mm -hmm. but also you can use sand. Yes. Sand works perfectly because sand creates the heat mm. all round. Yes. And then you can basically just shift your sufuria yeah. until it gets in dania mchanga kabisa. And then that way it cooks the cake mm. evenly. Mm. But today we're just going to be using water. Okay. All right. Now you are viewers at home, is this something that you have tried to do? And we'd love to know how you've made it work. Yeah. But before that, we're going to go ahead and pour our batter okay. straight into the pan it goes straight into our cooking dish now my choice is a lovely sufuria which mm. i'm just going to make sure that i get all of that goodness out okay just cut it oh look at that it just drizzles right through i love oh. that and the thing about spatulas that i told you i love mm -hmm. you can literally clean your sufuria i mean your your dish by just scraping it and it gets all that goodness out yeah. so you're left with absolutely nothing on your bowl mm. you've literally just cleaned out all that cake butter and into your dish look at that yeah. fantastic yeah. you just want to gently spread that out okay. just to make sure that it's evenly coated and distributed onto the sufuria okay and that's about it all right now our water has been boiling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the heat because you don't want your water splashing into your cake because mm -hmm. then you'll have a soggy cake yeah all right i'm gonna place this here here you go you may go ahead and wipe your hands before we wash them because now the final part which we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we cover our cake with oil. Ah, okay. Then that way we won't have our water spilling into the uh, the baking pan. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, it also will create sort of like a steam bath. Okay. Now with traditional cakes, mm -hmm. you'll have the cake baking and forming a nice brown crust up yeah, you. Like in you are in your heat. Mm. It's not going to be particularly brown, mm. but it will be cooked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait. That I promise it will be cooked. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and tear just a little bit of foil that I'm going to go ahead and oopsie and seal the top of my cake there. There okay. you go just to make sure that it's perfectly sealed just tuck it in and that's that now to make sure that you don't have this the water of the steam falling back onto the cake mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to poke some holes right oh, onto, onto our foil oh, okay. that way it releases the steam and then we won't have the water falling back onto the cake okay. right so i'm just going to use a knife and i'm just going to poke just random holes just to make sure the heat doesn't sip through right okay 
there you go look at that Amazing. fantastic now i don't want this to sag so that it doesn't touch onto the cake mm -hmm. in case it rises okay and what we're gonna do is first should i place mine first yeah sure. or should we go with yours let's go with uh, yours and, yeah let's go with yours and then what we're gonna do mm -hmm. i'm going to fold this just a so little bit to put like stones or something no we don't need to put stones mm -hmm. but you can put stones if you'd like to i've seen a lot of people go ahead and put stones okay. that works just as well okay. but we're just gonna go ahead and dunk this okay maybe i should first just turn it off because the steam may may or may not burn me all right now we're just gonna go ahead and just dip this in there just to make sure that the water ouch ouch okay that works <laughs> all right now we have our pot that's on there covered in foil it's about halfway or maybe a quarter way submerged in the water it is floating which is a plus so it doesn't have the direct heat mm. from yani tokamoto from the yeah. pan so it's floating so it's basically just gonna cook in that boiling water it's at a very low heat so that you don't have the water sort of okay. bubbling okay. up okay. and then we're just gonna give that a few minutes low heat low heat okay. all right now okay. we wait Today I'm going to show you how to set up a table setup in the house with a very simple uh, crockeries and glassware. We're going to start with our placemats. Always put it in the middle and then we're going to start with our knife. This is a meat knife or a main course knife. You put it on the right side with your thumb, you measure it so that it can be perfect. And then on the left side we'll be having our main course fork which is our meat fork. You put it on the left side again you measure it with your thumb, right? And then let's say you want to do a three course menu. So we're going to put our soup spoon way on the top, facing the left side. And then we're going to put our salad fork or our starter again below the spoon like that. And then let's say we're having a dessert of banoffee or an ice cream. Perhaps use a teaspoon that you have in the house. You put it on the right side. Make sure that all the forks are on the left side, all the knives and the spoons on the right side. So let's say we're having a water. With your water glass, a tumbler, you put it on the right side, facing down like that. And let's say, for example, you bought a very good wine. You're gonna have a wine glass, again, on the right side, like that. And this is how we do our table setup. And then not forgetting our plate. If you have a plate, a big uh, dinner plate like this, you can, again, place it on the table. And that's how you're going to surprise your loved one in the home. You give them a very hotel, restaurant-like experience in the house. All right, now the moment of truth. Yes. Rachel, after putting us <laughs> up to this, sorry, I'm just, it's a bit hot. So we're gonna take this off, it's a bit hot. Now remember, the fact that it's not in an oven, mm -hmm. it doesn't brown the same way that it yeah. would as if it's in an oven, right? Okay. So now the, the whole point is to just make sure that we cooked the cake oh through. my god it's it cooked is, it is cooked fantastic all right now we're just gonna flip it well you can wait for it to cool or you can just flip it yeah. immediately yeah so i'm just gonna flip it there oh, oh, oh. oh sorry it's okay it's okay and that that does it <gasps> can i touch it yeah, it's, it's actually spongy very spongy very airy so we're just gonna wait for ah! it completely. We're gonna cut it through and then we're gonna begin to top it, right? We Yay! made it! We made it! <laughs> we made it! All right, Rich, our cakes have cooled. Yes. And we have a simple buttercream that we've just made. Yes. So I'm going to ask you to just pipe that through okay. our cake.
Now we're gonna taste it. Hopefully it tastes like it. Get, get this piece with a nice little like frosting on the top and, yeah. and make sure that it's a nice spongy one. Moment of truth, if our cake has caked enough. That is so good. <laughs> Why is it so good? Why is it so good? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, no, this is actually really good, Rachel. I can't even deal with how oh good that is. God. That is absolutely delicious. I did not expect that. This was a honest. nice challenge, yeah? It was a wonderful challenge. Thank you for making me try that out. Mm. <laughs> mm. We are going to dig into this. This has been absolutely fantastic. Rachel, you have been amazing on here today. Amazing. Thank you. Mm. And the cake turned out nothing like we expected it to it tastes fantastic it's moist it's mm. not dry mm. right mm. it's not that sweet as well because we didn't put in too much yes. sugar mm. absolutely fantastic that's it here on Pishi bomba if you would like to be on the show simply inbox us on all our social media platforms that's ntv kenya or Pishi bomba or claire underscore karatu and of course you can be able to find rach on instagram youtube <laughs> twitter well, everywhere. <laughs> and how can they find you? Pika na rich. Pika na rich. That's yes. absolutely right. We've been here and we have enjoyed, of course, here in the pneumatic kitchen, and it has been a blast. Yes. That's it for today, and goodbye. Most of these things don't fit. No, see, no, there I'm you go. down to earth. I'm short. I'm just literally going to lift ah, the egg yolk. Okay. See how simple that is? Mm, okay. And then continue to mix that and incorporate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs>